Hello everybody. So I'm not supposed to play right now, <laughs> but um, I'm so nervous about the thing. So I decided that to calm myself down, I will uh, play some Sims <laughs> because uh, that that works. <laughs> um, anyway, so am I recording? Yes. <laughs> okay. So we are, whoops, uh, destroying the camera. Well, this is embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Oh, you get a click then. <laughs> then it works better. So this is the dreamer household. This is where they live and it's hard to control the camera, but you know, this is the part of town where they have built a uh, very nice house, you can see. And if we go into this view, we can see it a little bit better and we can load in. Now, on this image, we have Dirk Dreamer. But he he fought with someone uh, earlier and uh, consequently he has been sent to prison. I think I sent him to the corrections facility, but it doesn't matter. He's not here because he, he's over there. And Darren wants to get a grandchild again. I'm gonna lock it in, I don't know. <laughs> Someone will give him a grandchild. Uh, he only, all right, so he has three children and he has a bunch of grandchildren already, but he wants more. His lifetime want is to max out seven skills, so that's why he wants to gain a skill point two. But he is asleep right now. We'll see if he gets up. Now, Steffi over here is taking care of little Omar, and he, which has not got D name because I ran out of them. <laughs> there was too many D boys. <laughs> Like, and I only have one girl and she's called Melinda. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why isn't she called Delilah? I'm not sure. I think it was because uh, Dirk wasn't present when Lilith had Melinda. So Lilith, like, she didn't care about traditions and stuff. She just went her own way, kind of. Anyway. So... Yes, so you can see here that Steffi, she wants to flirt with Dirk, but that's not an option right now. She also wants to flirt with Dustin Broke. And, you know, she wants to be friends with uh, Amin too, or she is a friend with him, maybe. Um, but yeah, she, she has been flirting quite a lot with Dustin Broke, and I think... She's going to invite him over and hope that Darren doesn't care. I don't know. Maybe she, maybe they go out, actually. Like, it doesn't really make sense. Do they have a car? I want them to have a car. They don't have... They don't have a driveway and they don't have a car and they don't have money. I need to check my spreadsheet. Uh, no, they, they they got like a thousand simoleons in in the bank account. Unless I missed something, the computer is broken. <laughs> so we can't do anything about that. Now, Melinda, I, I, I couldn't bear that hair that she had anymore. And, you know, I remembered when she was a child, she had straight hair with, uh, she had uh, braids. Uh, but her hair was straight, so I switched it back, and I think this haircut is really cute on her. Um, also, if we look closely at Dirk, uh, we might be able to see that his hair is actually straight. It doesn't really make sense, but it, I I think it's like the due to the lack of textured hair in The Sims 2. But it is what it is, <laughs> kind of. Like, and it, it looks so good. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I, I put her back with some braided hair later because um, 
I, I've got some really nice ones. But if you, we look here at uh, Dorian, this is the hair that Dirk has too, and it's like it's not textured. So, yeah. And he's over here with Sadie, which he thinks is hot, but he has an affair with, or like he, he's in love with Bob the Third Sartor. So, and Lisa, is is this boy bi or what? What is going on? No, he's actually straight. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think. Like, Bob just managed to sway him or something. Where is the adjuster? I can't find the adjuster. We can just do this. Adjust, casual romance, zoom to adjuster. Wait, oh, there it is. I usually have it as a plant, but sometimes I keep it as this stack of phone books because it's very nostalgic to me. We had stacks of phone books just like this, only we kept it in the kitchen sofa so that they weren't seen, but we had them. Anyway, so if we do show my token stats, we can see that he does not like males. He has minus 246 on males and 500 on females. So he is straight and he has the hots for Lisa Freckles. So, I mean, I'm not sure what's going on on there. Um, he wants to sneak out with Davis Jr. I don't, I think it's too late to sneak out. We could try. Where's the phone? <laughs> I can't find anything in this house. Um, all right, call. Whoa, we can sneak out. So hurry up and you can sneak out with Davis Jr. Why, why do you want to sneak out with Davis? Well, his Marcus family somehow <laughs> I don't know David how does it work okay yeah because they have the sa same grandfather but Davis okay well he is called Lothario but he is because he's living with Don Lotharios and Mary Sue I think there's some gold digging going on over there to be honest <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if this is going to work because the the one that they sneak out with usually picks them up at one o'clock. And it's already one o'clock. So, yeah, but we can try sneak out. Hello. Come and pick me up, please. Maybe he comes right away. Cool. I'll pick you up at 1 a.m. But that's now. <laughs> How does that work? Also, I need to check if they have a loan. There's a loan jar. Oh, I meant to check the oven. I'll be right back. There, meatballs are served. And... I think Davis is here to pick up his uh, my cousins. Let's say cousin. Sneak out. Try and sneak out. I don't think Melinda is going to tell on him. Nope. That worked fine. The sneaky boys are sneaking out. <laughs> the cousins. Oh my goodness, I need a picture of this. I hope they don't get into any mischief while they're sneaking out. And I'm still saving all the pictures in the wrong spot. I will fix it someday. We'll see. Okay. Uh, well, this little boy wants to do his homework. I wonder where, where his homework is. Well, he needs fun to be able to do it. Maybe he should keep sleeping for a little while. They don't have a TV. They had to sell that, I think. Uh, but you could... Where, what's your hobby, little boy? Tinkering. Would that mean that he would gain fun from study mechanical? I am absolutely no, not sure that would work. 
but <laughs> you know it might now this duke over here he just wants to gain a skill point and he, you can sleep through the night it's fine Omar wants to learn to walk Steffi are you happy yeah okay so teach him to walk Oh no, the cat! Who, who's gonna fix the... Okay, Steffi will have to do that. Uh, scold for destroying the furniture. Do not do that, Cyber. Stop. I got a question. When, uh, when my daughter said her first words. So I started to look at all the old videos that I have had taken of her to see when she said something and she was so cute <laughs> uh, and I I think I established that she was like when she was 10 months old she said swing in Sweden Swedish it's gung she said gung 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 <laughs> because she wants to describe what is happening when you swing <laughs> It's the it's a verb. <laughs> uh, she also said duck in Swedish again, Anka. And then I had a video. I don't think we noticed at the time, but when I watched it now, she she pretty clearly said mom and dad. She was playing with a rubber duck and us. It was really funny. That was so cute. And I didn't want to, I, I could do that all day, look at, oh my goodness, why are you doing crosswords? What, what is happening? Apparently she wants to find a job for cyber and maybe she had a want for it earlier, so I'm not going to cancel it out. But it doesn't seem like, does the cat have wants? I don't think cats have wants, no. It doesn't seem like she has one now. Oh, you could have fixed the cat. I mean, feed the cat. I don't know. Okay, we'll take just take the first one. I don't know. And she wants to sneak out with Joe. Who's Joe? Joe Grundström. Okay. She wants to sneak out with him. I don't think that's gonna be possible now, will it? No. Should have noticed that sooner. All right. I think she should go to bed. <laughs> Why is she up even? I have no idea. Maybe I was trying to get her fun up so that she can do her homework maybe. She has her own room because she's the heir of the house. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> I think or because she's the first boy. I don't because she had her own room and I don't I don't know I don't remember But that's the way we have it now This seems to be going well Steffi wants to raise 20 puppies or kittens Oh dear so she they have, they're low on money, so they should try and sell this cat to someone. Maybe she sells it to Dustin. Maybe she calls him over and sells the cat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, there, now there's a wolf too. Is anyone interested in the wolf? Darren is a knowledge sim, but he doesn't have a want to, to see the wolf. I don't know. His lifetime wish has nothing to do with wolves either, so... We'll just ignore the wolf. Maybe we'll dig a hole and we can find some treasure. What's this? We don't know. But I don't do homework unless... The kid wants to do homework. Oh good, you're fixing your fun need. That's awesome. Uh, evidently he didn't want to study me mechanic. <laughs> well. Wow. 
Melinda wants to go to college and I have locked that in. She is 17 years old. And at 17, they are allowed to lock that in. Oh, she's an A plus student. She can go when she's 18 if, uh, if she doesn't lose a grade because she still hasn't done the homework and she's very tired. But she she has a little bit of green here now, so maybe she will be able to do the homework. We'll see. Maybe maybe Darren helps her. Help Melinda with homework. Stop that. Ask Darren for homework help. Because Steffi is busy. Because she's sleeping. <laughs> Alright, what happened to the child? Okay, well, he's... He's doing well. He wants to reach creativity level too. Okay, well, keep keep playing that xylophone. I really miss the xylophone in Sims 4. <laughs> Whenever I do play it, I've kind of stopped, to be honest. I got a question, like, can you play the Sims 4? And I, I bl blubbered out something about not having updated the game and not being sure if anyone wants to watch that but yeah i don't want to update my game because i'm pre the mean bug that's probably fixed now but i don't want to find out what what other bugs are introduced and i don't want to be like bothered with, with updating all my mods and it's like at this point, I just want it to end so that I can fix all my mods and have it like I want it and then I can play it from time to time. But right now, no. <laughs> I, I don't think I can, actually. Something stops me. Okay, so Jaren wants Seth to get a scholarship. Okay, well, you can want that if you want. Seth was his... son <laughs> but, but now he has been adopted by the new verbs so he, now he's just Seth to him I guess but I thought that that's probably some sort of you'll always be my baby type thing I think this is going to work Dorian got home all right and then he got to sleep on the couch and he wants to go to college, so we're not looking locking that in because uh, Dorian is only 15 and we're not locking that in just yet. But where's his homework? Has he done it? Like, why is he sleeping there? Why, did, why isn't he sleeping in a bed? I don't know. That's Dean's homework. That's Duke's homework. Do you have some homework? Maybe this is your homework? Yes. Okay, do your homework. If you get up from that couch now, you'll be able to do it before you go to school. Now he wants to sneak out with Dan Davis again. Or still, I'm not sure. Let's lock it in. Like, maybe those two boys are like up to no good every night. Um. Okay, now she doesn't want to do her homework, but hasn't she already done it? I think it's not there anymore. Yeah, but instead of complaining, go and sleep. She's very ambitious. She works uh, for... <coughs> for Malcolm Landgrab over at his... Uh, Club Dante, but uh, it doesn't show here, and that's annoying. I don't know how that works. What's wrong with you, little Duke? You want to do your homework, but you're ha not having fun? Well, join Dean then. Oh, that's not possible. Okay. How will I put this? toy box so that you can also play. If we put it there, will it be in the way? I don't know. 
Let's play with toys. Yeah, I know, you can't get there. <laughs> oh, he's the one that is already playing. Okay, play with toys. Uh, what just happened? Oh my goodness, if we missed it! He has sl slid down on the... On the railing here. That's so fun. Mm, and he needs some hygiene. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna let him. The school bus will arrive very soon. Wait, does Darren work? Yes! But not, not right now. Alrighty. Dean is just skin and bones. Well, I'm very sorry, but you don't have time to eat before school. <laughs> You'll have to eat in school. Where, where were your homework? It's now you can try and make... Try and do the homework. I don't know. He will be a teenager in two days. Now, how about you? Well, when they're in Platinum, it's hard to tell if they are ready to do their homework. But we can try now, because there's not much time before school. And how are you doing? Did you do your homework? That's good boy. <laughs> awesome. Hey, there's a car here. Who Who is going to work? What is happening? Who is this car here for? I don't know. Well, let's send everybody to school, at least. Yeah, you're already going to school. Okay. And you <laughs> apparently stopped doing your homework. You're going to school. Okay. Well, that's great. And wait, so Duke has not done his homework. So, all right. He might lose a grade. I don't know. Melinda, how are you doing? Okay. She's in private school. I think Dorian is too. Yes, everyone but Duke. Duke was too small when they got in. That's fine. Okay, let's get some action going. <laughs> get up. Oh, use this toilet actually. And then... Since Darren is home watching the kids, you can just ask um, ask out on a date and see if Dustin Dustin doesn't have a job, I think. I don't think he got a job. He he has never gotten the wish to have a job. He just wants to slack around and be with different women. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and Steffi lost her want to be with him, but, you know, we, we remember. He's gonna, she's gonna ask Dustin Broke on a date. What are you doing, Matthew? Stop it. Can I, like, greet him or something? We're not bringing anybody. 
Aren't you switching clothes though? That would be handy, I would think. Okay, now you invited him into the house and he's running around with a invisible newspaper. That's not so good. All right. Now, where are we going? We're not going there, that's the teenage hangout. We could go to the club, but I don't know if there's a woohoo spot there. <laughs> um, what is this? Dinner? we go here we can uh, buy clothes so then there's a boohoo spot in the you know in the changing booth thingy <clears throat> and also maybe Steffi needs new clothes because I'm not sure about these <laughs> But she doesn't have much money, does she? So... She got it in the bank. So, uh, she, yeah, she, she could use the last money that she has for new pants or something because <laughs> maybe she doesn't want to have uh, these shorts on anymore it is autumn it's gonna be winter soon but uh never mind that for now let's see what she wants to do to dustin she wants to play with him <laughs> oh <laughs> i didn't even have time to fix that all right and here comes the randy london and he thinks Steffi is hot too. All right. She also wants to dance and slow dance. Okay. Well, I guess slow dance then. That will satisfy your wants. Uh, see, Dustin wants to have lots of friends and make out with different women. Oh no, not the unsavory charlatan. Oh, and also, beware of Ricky, he has the flu. <laughs> he can get sick. Oh no, he's going around infecting people. Uh, can I, can I sap him somehow? I don't think so. Oh well. <laughs> they look so silly when they do this. Their facial expressions. <laughs> well. This is a bit of forbidden love, but you know, Steph is like, my my husband is in prison, what am I going to do? The heart wants what it wants. Put hand on shoulder, yeah, try that. They did already uh, woohoo. See? <laughs> So, um, the rule says any subsequent woohooing can be done by casual woohoo, but she want, she has to want it first. She wants to entertain him now. Mm -hmm. I got a message. Or something. I hate when my phone just uh, makes noise and then I don't know what it is. It was an email and it wasn't important because I've already done what it says to do. <laughs> oh, here's Jennifer Pleasant walking around. All right. And she thinks that's awesome. 
Maybe she doesn't uh, know who who these two are married to. Mm, what was it? She wanted to entertain. Oh, we have a lot of... Let's make a school share. Because uh, Steffi... What does this mean? Does it, does, it, does it mean that she didn't go to college? I think it does. Oh no, Dustin is getting mugged. Oh no. But if she didn't go to college, then why, she, why can she do a school share? I don't know. Well, yeah, Dustin, you're losing your wallet right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do anything about that. Um, she had lots and lots of babies. Here we have a memory. Steffi dropped out of college. Was it because she became pregnant? That's probably what happened. I don't remember. Oh well, okay. Buy everyday pants. Oh, you know, maybe we do that later. Uh, <laughs> entertain, school share, let's do it now. You remember this? Yeah, see, he has six wants, so that means he graduated, I think. Why are you angry? Well, he seems angry. Well, I'm gonna kiss him. But he wants to talk. Well, maybe I should actually have them talk so that we get rid of that want. He also wants to become friends again with Angela because he left Angela for Meadow and she was not happy about it. <laughs> like at all. Oh, right. Now she wants to woohoo. So let's try on some pants. That's not pants. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. Pants. What is Steffi's style? She has these um, boots on right now. Maybe something like this could be cool. Yeah, let, let's try these. See what it looks like. See, Rick is sick. Please go away before you infect everybody. There you go. And ask him to join. Can we do that? Ask to join. But, but she doesn't want a baby right now. So we're not trying for baby. We're just going to do a woohoo. And I don't know if there's a casual woohoo spot actually anywhere here, but there they go. <laughs> and everybody comes to watch. Oh, Ricky did not like that. Did we have some sort of relationship to Ricky? I don't think so. Why is he so sad? I don't know. I don't think we care about Ricky. No. Well, he didn't like it. Maybe he's just jealous in general, you know? <laughs> Can you come out? I want to see your pants. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on. There you go. What is that shirt? That's not the shirt that she had on. It is very cool though, isn't it? I made that shirt. I just I I just pasted the the pirate bait logo on a shirt, but 
you know, I like it. Well, I think these pens are good. Now she wants to, uh, now she wants to make out with Dustin. Maybe I buy those pants real quick. And then where is Dustin? Where did he go? I'm just gonna... Well, there is a sofa somewhere. So if she wants to woohoo again, we can do a casual woohoo on that sofa. I kind of want them to get pregnant because of the drama. <laughs> Oh no! Now Steph is sick with the flu and she's gonna give it to Dustin and we're gonna have like all... Okay. Well, she is a family sim. So she can make sh grandma's chicken soup. So she can cure herself. I don't know. Which ones was it? Was it these ones? I think so. There. Let's get those. Didn't she have 400 before? Now she only has 200. Oh, did it take the money before she paid? That was weird. <laughs> okay, well, make out with Dustin. Can we, like, ask him to come home with us so that we don't infect anyone else? Because at this point, uh, Darren will have gone to his job so you know I don't know maybe we could try how does it work ask want to ride home uh, back to my place we could try that because I don't want them to infect anyone outside the family because it's so annoying Someone made food. And also, in the previous episode, I accidentally said that this is Brandy Broke. But it's not. It's Brandy Lethorno. And she's her own person. And she has nothing to do with Brandy Broke. I, I got it mixed up. <laughs> oh, he wants to woohoo with her. Well, if he follows us home, we have a good bed where we can do that, you know? I think he said yes. And then we gotta wait for them to come, I think. Because we have the community time, I'm not sure how that works. But we'll see. Maybe we have time, like, before the taxi comes. Woohoo on the sofa. Like, oh no. <laughs> they stop everything when they cough. It's so annoying. Casual. Oh, it, it went away. Oh no. Where are you going? Get out of woo. I don't know if that's good. I'll try it. <laughs> I'm not sure what that does. The, the text is here, so... Okay, yeah. Stop coughing. What's upstairs? Oh, that's where the sofa is. Okay. That's why he's going there. He's trying to woohoo. Well, we're, we're going home now. So. Stop stop with the woohooing. Oh, Dustin, you're taking forever. Like, I should uh, have remembered that it takes like two and a half hours for them to get home, so I could have started to go home like at 11. <laughs> Darren would have been out. Okay, so now she's out and she's gonna get here in five hours. So, well, in the meantime, what can we do? He wants to talk about hobby and have a good reputation, so maybe he... Uh, takes care of this child and then maybe he invites someone over. I don't know. 
Yeah, that's a diaper change needed. Oh, bills. We don't need that. <laughs> Here comes Nina Caliente. And she is very pregnant. I've forgotten who with. But um, her sister, Dina Caliente, oh, Dina, Dina Landgrab, just had Malcolm's kid. Um, and it was a girl, and Malcolm is, of course, very happy to get a child, but he um, he kind of hoped for a boy. He wants a little Malcolm, so now he's going to try again before Dina gets old. She has like three days left or something before she gets old. I don't know what he's going to do if he doesn't get a boy heir, because he wants to leave his fortune with a boy called Malcolm the, the fifth so that that's just his his old-fashioned like that it's a tradition in their family <laughs> so he does not have money we need to fix this computer actually it's a necessity you can you, you need to do that and carpool will arrive shortly wait do we have like a nanny coming that's we gotta we gotta fix that because we don't have anyone to watch over this child so we gotta fix that first uh nanny uh okay well apparently we have her on the schedule, so I guess she will come. Oh, the cat is at work too. The kitty concoctions, kitty concoctions is a bit of a financial bind. Corporate revenues are a bit low for the quarter and the company needs to hurry and rush the release of their new product, Jamma Hamma. New products need new commercials and it's Corporate policy to show cats eating the food on live television to instill confidence in customers. Jamahama has not yet been approved by the government, so big name celebrities are refusing the role. Kitty Concoctions needs an adventurous extra quality cat actor and Cyber's agent has secured the spot if he wants it. This could be just the opening Cyber has been waiting for. Should Cyber eat the Gemma Ham on camera or is it one he should not turn down? Well, I think he should turn it down, but I don't think he will because he's trying to, you know, to uh, advance in his career. So he, he's going to he's going to do it. Cyber probably should have left when he first saw the Gemma Ham because <clears throat> There's just something that isn't right about green cat food. Nevertheless, the show must go on and what a show. After only two bites, Cyber runs from the table and heads to the nearest litter box. Desperate to fix the situation, Cyber's agent bends over and starts eating the food herself. Shocked CEO of Kitty Concoctions cancels the live feed and finds Cyber. 250 simoleons! We, don't, we can't afford that! <laughs> Oh no! Gosh darn cats! Well, okay, now that we hopefully have a nanny coming, you can try and repair that computer. You won't be able to make it in time. But, uh, that's uh, fine. Well, if you want to uh, get creativity, then Please work on that. <laughs> that would be smarter. Little boy. Omar is so cute. But I'm, I'm kind of concerned. It feels like I'm getting uh, children with bigger and bigger eyes. Uh, see how big his eyes are? I don't know why. And like, I don't understand it. And I don't know if there's anything that I should do about it either. But that's just the way things happen. Get in. Did you fix the computer? 
Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's see if you have any money. I don't think you have. Uh, where's... No. Okay, well, he doesn't have a bank account. That's why there was no option. I did call the nanny. Oh, my goodness. Well, now that... I did call you, nanny. Get over here. Okay, just get here now. And you can walk to work when she gets here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess. But I can't do it yet. So she will have to arrive first. When Melinda first began taking violin lessons, she sounded like a marmoset with a bad cold. But something happened and recently Melinda's been at the top of her game so much so that she's been offered the position of concertmaster in the school orchestra melinda earns one creativity skill point from all of the extra experience well that's awesome they're quite creative in this family i feel okay well the next boy wasn't cre creative Dean has two points, and this little boy, Omar, has two points. Well, it seems to be skipping. And Darren is, he has mixed it out. Okay, now that the nanny is here, walk to work. Because regularly, I wouldn't allow them to walk to work if they missed their carpool. But, I, like, I actually called the nanny to check that there would be somewhere here. And she said, like, I, I'm on a schedule. I'll be there when you're not here. And then she wasn't there. That's not my fault. <laughs> so, well, now Melinda is here. That is awesome. She still has an A. She dropped a little bit. But this means that she, she can go tomorrow when she's 18. She can go to college. Fantastic. And like do the homework, I guess. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, well I, I, I keep having to check who's who all the time because I can't remember their names. <clears throat> but this is Dorian. And his last name is Raymond because uh Steffi and Dirk wasn't yet uh, married when he was born and also that will <laughs> that will keep the the game from having too many dreamers <laughs> I think I don't I'm not sure like Dean dreamer will pass on the name wait what what will happen yeah these boys Dolmar also um Unless he gets adopted, but I don't think it's going to happen at that, this point. Oh, I should have had her play chess because she wants to gain a logic skill point and she wants to have fun. So, well, go here and dance, I guess. What now? Who's, whose car is this? I have no idea. What is going on? What? There was a car here. I don't understand whose car it was. Well, we missed it. I don't know. There keeps being ghost cars, it seems. Well, you have a bubble bath and practice some logic then. I think that will be good for you. He's too tired. What is Omar doing now? 
Oh my goodness, he's gonna be so creative. Yep. We have two nannies now. Why is okay? <laughs> like and there. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that that will just have to happen, I guess. Dean's grades are slipping. Oh no! Where is he? <clears throat> well, he wants to do his homework. But he is uh, not happy, so he will not at this point. Did nobody bring a friend home? Apparently not. They are so low in fun all the time. It's like it's like children needs to play or something. It's good if Melinda gets some skill points because that will help her in college. She doesn't have too many of them. So, who's here now? Oh, now Steffi is home with uh, Dustin. <laughs> and they still want a woohoo. Uh, well, I guess casual woohoo in the bed. Let's go. <laughs> And hopefully no one will be too upset. We should like dismiss one of the nannies, but she's busy now. Okay, boys, maybe you should go outside. Go away. Yeah, let's stop them. Cyber has returned, so now we have some money. Mary Sulothari is no longer a family friend. Well, that's too bad, I guess. Oh. <laughs> the minutes are quickly counting down in one of the most intense capture, capture the flag matches of Daring's gaming career. His red team is playing a red solid game, but they are still one flag down from beating the Blues. Darren has only one more spawn before the time will be up. Uh, so he must pick the right claws and pick it fast. Should he play as a rocket lanchito and blast his way to the flag or as a recon no, yeah, something and run past everyone to capture the flag. The second seconds are ticking down and Darren must choose. Uh, should he play then she did blast his way to the flag or run past everyone to the flag. I don't understand. What's the difference? Rocket sounds faster. <laughs> Brute force always trumps finesse, especially when he has a few tricks up his sleeve. He quickly moves through the blue base only to be stopped in the final flag room to avoid the two blue players, the guard bots. Darren rocket jumps to the top of the room, then drops down behind them, capture the flag, then Rocket jumps back out before they even figure out what hit them. With mere seconds left, Darren returns the flag and wins the match. Even better, his high flying skills have earned him a promotion to platform jumper. Okay, well that's good. Oh no, he, he gets home now. I, I wonder if he's gonna get upset about what's happening in the classroom. But now we have a very... Can we dismiss this? Dismiss everyone. We don't want to pay extra. Did I successfully dismiss them? I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> we don't know. Okay. Are they... Boy, get out of there! Stop it! Can't be there, that's very embarrassing. There you go. Okay. 
Oh, now it's tired too. I think this is gonna be a woohoo. Yes. This is this is good. It's gonna be a dream date, and Steph is counting on getting a nice gift from Dustin afterwards. So, like, they need money, like, all the time, because money scares. Even though Jaren just raked in some of it, so he can go and deposit. I think he could deposit, like, a thousand. Uh, I think that's gonna be good. Now that they are done woohooing, I, I mean, yeah, that's smart. Let's see. She just wanted to be a dream date. Dustin wants to make out with her again, so I mean let let let's make out. He wants it. And now he wants to do a public woohoo and he still wants to be best friend with Angela. I think he really regrets uh messing it up with Angela, so Maybe he'll try and patch that back together, but he's married now to, to Meadow, so I don't I don't know what's going to happen there. Like it doesn't seem like Dustin knows what he wants, right? So he's married to, to Meadow. He wants to patch it up with Angela, but he's here <laughs> with with uh, Steffi Dreamer. So I mean Dustin, what's your plan here? Do you have a plan? I don't think you do, right? Oh, she should uh, plan everyday outfit. <laughs> it's very important. Yeah, I think they're done with their date, though. Oh, this is cool. Well, that's not what we're going to wear. Uh, what happened to her shirt? Oh, is that part of the outfit? Oh, I thought that was a separate shirt. Well, okay, maybe maybe this is what she wears anyway. Mm. She needs a new shirt. <laughs> well, maybe she can go shopping some more later. Okay, so let's end this date before... I don't know, before what, but... And see if... No, we, don't, we didn't get an extra point there. Well, too bad. She wants to teach a nursery rhyme to the, the little one, so let's focus on that for a little while. Uh, Melinda's tired. Did she get that logic skill point? She has one, so maybe. Dorian still wants to go to college, so whose homework what did I see out here? Was it is it his? Yes. Why didn't he put put it here? That's his picture, right? That's weird. Oh well. I'll just move it. There you go, Dorian. Now do your homework. There you go. Well, Maybe now he doesn't want it anymore. Yeah, he does. Okay, everyone aged up too. So. Dean will grow up in just one day and Omar will grow up in just one day. So we should have a birthday party for those two. Darren is 66 years old. Steffi is now 38. Uh, Melinda is 18 and will be going to college tomorrow because she wants to and Dorian is 16 and Dean is 12 Duke is 8 and Omar is 4 um, so yeah Dean <laughs> Dean wants to have a birthday party I think Darren will oh but he's busy <laughs> Oh, he's reading to little Duke. Okay. Maybe we just teach Omar this little nursery rhyme. Oh, he's confused. And then we can 
invite people over for a birthday party. For a second there I thought maybe Melinda wants to do that, but she's too tired. <laughs> oh, you get charisma for being taught a nursery rhyme? I didn't know that. Well, I probably did, but I keep forgetting it. Probably. Oh, it's so close. There you go. Now answer this phone. Someone is calling. Oh, and they became best friends too. Hey Duke, is Steffi available to talk? Wait. <laughs> so Meadow is calling Steffi? Does she, does she know? Alright, well, I better say yes. Okay, uh, no, don't do silent mode. Answer. Let's see what she says. Dustin is still here. <laughs> Incidentally. <laughs> oh no, Duke. Oh, I forgot everyone is sick with the flu. I forgot about that. We okay, serve dinner. Grandma's comfort soup. And then, like, okay, we get a note now. Like, Steph is sick with the flu. I don't know if Dustin is. And then Duke is also blue. I just wrote Steffi on Steffi. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so now I have, I'm keeping track of who's healthy and not. So who's, there's Duke. Have a nap until your mother has made. Uh, hi, I'm Meadow. Since my friend, <laughs> Okay, since my friend Dustin had such a great time with you the other day, I thought you'd see, I'd see if I, you wanted to go downtown. Well, you have to say no because I'm sick with the flu and also awkward and also she's in prison. So no. <laughs> oh, too bad. But hopefully we'll get together soon. Yeah, we'll see about that, Meadow. Um, not sure. Oh no, there's no food! Oh my goodness, they're all going to die. Well, let's... We should have gone to the grocery store when we were out. Um, but I'm not going out now. So we will call a delivery. Oh, it was Steffi's carpool that arrived earlier. Apparently. Okay, get groceries. And luckily, Darren uh, didn't put things in a bank account, so we have some cash to get some money to get some groceries. What is happening now? He's telling her a dirty joke. Okay. I, I'm thinking, like, since since we have disease and everything. We're, we're not having a birthday party. We're going to age the boys up uh, just with a cake and no party. Sorry about that. We can have a party later. And we can have Darren accept these groceries. No, oh, don't crash it up. No, accept delivery, then you can answer the phone. First things first. Hey Darren, is Duke available to talk? Sure. Okay. But uh, Dorian really should do his homework. Did he already do it? That was good. 
Good, good doing. <laughs> okay, and this little boy needs a bath. Take a bubble bath. Oh no, he's all sick and stuff. Okay. Well, he's also tired. Just keep having naps over there. It's gonna be fine. Oh no, the cat doesn't have any food. And also, why is it so hard to uh, accept deliveries? And as soon as I get hold of that basket of groceries, I can make some grandma's chicken soup. And hopefully we can cure everybody. But I can, I can only play until um, Saturday morning because uh, Melinda is going to university. So I'll have to stop <laughs> so that she can go next time I play her when the, and I need to play the university lot one more year before she can go. So hopefully she doesn't catch it before then. All right, we're getting food. Fantastic. Serve the grandma's chicken soup. They're gonna grow up in the middle of the night, it's fine. This household has always been a little bit chaotic. It's fine. There, uh, Duke, come and eat. Eat. It's very important. Maybe you should have two bowls. I don't know if it, if it helps better if you have two of them. But it does help. And yeah, Dustin, you have some too because you might be infected. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't gotten a notice, but maybe you don't get notices about people that is not in your household so can i call to meal household there we go everybody come and eat and then steffi can go to sleep and then also duke they really need a bigger table. Oh well. Maybe another time we can get one. Oh, cat, what are you doing? <laughs> Melinda is taking care of her little brother. Aw, oh, that's so cute. This is empty now, so he can empty that, and then we can also buy ourselves a birthday cake. Let's put it there. Let's actually save. I haven't saved in quite a while. There, and then he can uh, grow up, and we can oh, we can find out what what he's going to get. Um, as an uh, aspiration, you know. Oh, he has points. Let let's save them until we know what his aspiration is. For teens, I always randomize aspiration because they don't know who they are yet. <laughs> Jerk Dreamer and Duke are no longer friends. Oh no! Oh, and Belinda is sick with the flu. Oh no! I hope I didn't miss it, anyone. Belinda. I said I didn't want her to, to catch it, but now she did. Did she get any of these 
Gran's comfort soup. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe Steffi needs to make more. Make group meal. Grandma's comfort soup. And you know, Melinda, you can just use this filthy toilet <laughs> and then go to bed. And hopefully you'll not be sick anymore later. I don't know. Well, they're being so good cleaning up. <laughs> Get cleaning skill for that at all? Are you getting cleaning skill? Huh? Are they not getting cleaning skill when they clean up? That's not fair. Well, let's see what Dean gets. I'm very excited about this. Like, what? What will he get? Oh, come on. Do the thing. There you go. Hooray. It's kind of sad that Dirk isn't here. But you know, when you go to prison, you miss stuff. That's just what happens. Why didn't we get the cutscene? Ooh! Oh my goodness. He got handsome! I like it. <laughs> He's gonna grow up to be a really handsome dude. Let's see. I'm going to say that I'm starting on this one so that this is one. So uh, let's just get our trusty random.org and randomize from one through six. And you'll just have to uh, trust that I'm not lying. But I got... <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to show you. It's, it's a one. I don't like it. <laughs> because that means he's going to get the pleasure aspiration. I would have pegged him as a fortune sim, but you know that's what he is. He, he, he likes fitness and blonde, so he need he likes blonde fit people, uh, but not hats. Okay, well that that's who he is, and he apparently knows Willow Trimble. I don't think it's her time to grow up, Willow. No, so we're not doing that. But what we are doing is that we are noting that he is now a, let's see. Hey, I haven't even noted Melinda's aspiration and she is a fortune shim. Fortune, where is it? There, and then, and Dorian is a popularity sim. And now Dean is a pleasure sim. All right, and then we are going to find that <laughs> ACR adjuster again, and we are going to, how do we do it? Um, give token to Dean. No, 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 no. That's, well, maybe that's how you do it. I don't remember. We should do hood run randomizer. We have it at 15%. I think that's a reasonable level. Stop eating cake. You can eat cake when I've done this. You're, you're not hungry even. Stop. Uh, no preferences only because we don't want to change everything, anything. We don't want to do it high. And then, does this mean he does now have a token? 
I don't think so. We gotta give him a token, I think. There, successfully added token. And now we can show my token stats and he is straight. All right, okay. Well, sometimes I, I get like, well, everyone in this family is straight. <laughs> does, it, does this even work? But you know, if 85% of the Sims are straight, then uh, most of them are straight. Um, and he likes The Sims 3, apparently. I like that shirt. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Mm, he needs fun. So if I let him be, maybe he'll find, find something fun to do. This boy also needs fun and NG. Okay. Yeah, look at the time. I better go. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Let's get another cake out though, because we are having this boy is about to, to age up. He needs help. Let's bring him more to cake. Wait, Dean, you're sick with the flu. Go, go to bed. Which one is your bed? I can't remember. Sleep in this bed. There you go. And the only one that can make his homework, he doesn't need to. Because he's already done that. Okay, Steph, you can get up and make more grandma's chicken soup. Oh, she can't do it right now because let's just throw that cake away. <laughs> we don't need that cake. Oh no. Omar is growing up and we're kind of missing it. Well. Too many birthdays. Come on, you can do it. Grow up. Woo. There you go. And now Steffi wants to have a baby. Okay. That's fun. She doesn't have a ton already. <laughs> well, she is a family sim. They want a lot. Lots and lots of baby. And she wants to be friends with Meadow. Yeah, good luck with keeping that alive. Oh, I thought I heard a phone. Um, all right, now. No. May group meal grandma's chicken soup and everyone I, I can't remember who's sick and not sick so everyone should be sleeping unless they're eating chicken soup <laughs> let's just put everyone to sleep wait I have I don't have beds enough do I no, because Omar now needs a bed. Where are you going? You can't go sleep there. You need a bed down here. We'll fix that for you. Uh, we don't have a child on the way like immediately. So I'm just going to sell everything. To Oh, look at that. <laughs> and then buy a bed to put down here. Maybe this one is a good one. There you go. Oh, that took all the money. Well, it's fine. Uh, sleep here. And he seems to be liking blue. Maybe I should like... Hmm. If I had a lot of money in the household funds, I could... Like, oh, he wants to ask for homework help. 
Yeah, that will have to wait. Mm, what are you doing? I think you should go and sleep instead of eating cake. You don't need to eat cake. Oh no, she could have continued with this one. Oh. I guess she'll do that too. She will pee her pants. Yeah, we'll have that there. And then you can put away leftovers. And then you can resume cooking. And we can clean that up too. <laughs> I'll just have her cook lots and lots of grandma's chicken soup so that we have that in the refrigerator and everyone can eat it. Like for instance, Melinda could, but she can wait for this one. Does it get more potent if the one that cooks it has better cooking skill? I don't know. Uh, serve that, I guess. Steffi is healthy again! Oh, so the chicken soup actually worked. Well, that's good. I'll remove the flu from her. In my spreadsheet. Serve. Why aren't you able to do it? Is it because Steffi is in the way? Serve that then. I guess. Eat that. Who else was sick? I think, was, was it Dean? See, this is why I know it in the spreadsheet. I can't remember. It was Duke. Okay, so Duke, you can come and eat too. I guess, well, maybe he should sleep first. So you can get leftovers. Put that away, put leftovers away. And we'll have to stop playing because Melinda is over here and going, well, I'm not taking the train to university, you know, but I am going. Why is Steffi so upset by that? I don't know. But that's the thing that happened anyway. So. Oh, is he getting leftovers now? Eat that instead. Eat this. And Steffi is again sick with the flu because she is hanging out here with the children that are sick. That is just what happens. It's fine. I hope she gets healthy again. Oh, well, I'm gonna note that back then. Flu. Yeah, you're all sick and stuff, aren't you? Why did you stop eating? Eat that. No, 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 no. Don't eat cake. Why is it so hard? Uh, it's seven o'clock. I could maybe stretch this out to eight o'clock when the bus comes. Maybe. Yes, don't. Stop. Stop stopping. Uh, and also, we need to lock doing homework in, I think. Oh, Omar is over here cleaning the cat bed. That's very nice of you, Omar. It's good, good boy. Uh, 
Right, and now Steffi needs to sleep. And we should also have Melinda sleep. Okay, relax maybe. And then also... Oh, he can have a, a bubble bath and then... Use this. And go to sleep. But we'll have to end this episode here. Even though we have a flu outbreak. I don't like it. But you know. What are you going to do? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll play until it's 8 o'clock in the game. <laughs> Just because I want to see if Melinda gets healthy. <coughs> We're not sending her to college right now though. But it's in like seven minutes, so I'm not too hopeful. Oh no, don't get in there. It's embarrassing and you might get the flu. Yeah, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> well, I'll give her a bath too. I mean, technically, it's just, it's still Saturday morning. What are you doing? Use this. Take bubble bath. Oh, it's Saturday. Nobody is going to school. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be healthy again. So let's just end the episode. Matthew Picasso is here to steal the newspaper yet again. Well, that's just how that co cookie crumbles. So, um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this didn't turn out too well, did it? We we might get a um a, a, an outbreak on our hand. Hands. Uh, someone might die. I hope not. Uh, but yeah. So, un unlike these Sims, uh, until next time, have a super duper time and stay safe and <laughs> take care. <laughs> and yeah, goodbye.